In this class, we are going to learn about kinematics. Before we are going to learn kinematics, we need to know what is mean by physics. That we learn about with the help of a small topic as introduction to physics. In physics, we are going to deal with uh, so many different uh, physical quantities like uh, distance, speed, velocity, force, so on. So on which are useful to understanding the physical nature of our universe and its constituents. The kinematics is one of the branch of mechanics. So we need to know about what is mean by mechanics. So what is mean by mechanics? We are going to learn with the help of this small topic is introduction to mechanics. Mechanics uh, deals with ordered motion of a particle. System of particle. And rigid body, so on. So. Hereafter, the ordered motion is simply referred as referred as motion. This is about uh, mechanics, and the mechanics is classified into three types. They are Newtonian mechanics and it is also called as classical mechanics and next one is relative stick mechanics and last one is quantum mechanics so now we are going to learn about Newtonian mechanics or classical mechanics Newtonian mechanics or classical mechanics was proposed by great scientist Newton on his uh, laws of motion based on his laws of motion only we are going to learn about this mechanics and this mechanics is provided correct result when the mass of the particle is much much greater than mass of an atom and velocity of the particle is much much less than velocity of the light in vacuum then only it provides correct result in newtonian mechanics mass and time are absolute which means that they are same for any observer This is about Newtonian mechanics or classical mechanics. And next one is uh, relative stick mechanics. Relativistic mechanics was proposed by great scientist Einstein. Which provide correct result 
when the velocity of the particle is comparable with velocity of light in vacuum and mass of the particle is uh, much much greater than mass of an atom. So this we may refer like this here, velocity of the particle is comparable with velocity of light in vacuum and mass of the particle is much much greater than the mass of an atom. Then only it provides correct result. And next one, quantum mechanics. And one more thing we need to remember in relate to stick mechanics and that mass and time are are relative which means that they are not for same for any observer. This is about uh, relative stick mechanics. Next thing we are going to learn about uh, quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics which was proposed by the scientist we may call it as a Max Planck and this quantum mechanics provide correct result when the mass of a particle is comparable with mass of an atom then only it provides correct result. So here we learn about different types of mechanics they are Newtonian mechanics, classical mechanics and second one is relativistic mechanics, third one is quantum mechanics and further the mechanics is uh, classified into three subcategories they are first one is uh, kinematics and second one is uh, dynamics and third one is statics. So now today we are going to learn about the topic is called as a uh, kinematics. We need to know about what is mean by kinematics and in this kinematics uh, what we are going to learn. So for that we are going to elaborate kinematics like this. Kinematics is a word derived from Greek word kinema which means that motion. So kinematics is a word derived from Greek word is kinema which means that motion. So with the help of this motion we have to understand the topic is kinematics. Now the kinematics is a word we are going to elaborate to study the motion of bodies but not considering the cause of motion. To study the motion of bodies but not considering cause of motion. What is mean by this statement? Which means that here we have to observe only the motion of a body or of object. Means we know about clearly when a particle or a body will change its position means it must turn require a force. But in this kinematics we are not going to discuss about force. We are not bother about force. Either the body will move with the help of gravitation force or external force or frictional force. We don't bother about those types of forces. But here we need to put concentrate about how does body will move whether it possess curvilinear motion or rectilinear motion. So we need to learn about only the type of motion in this kinematics. And next thing dynamics, what is mean by dynamics? Dynamics is also one branch in mechanics. So we may elaborate this word like this here. 
to study the motion of bodies under the action of force. This is called as dynamics. Means here we need to put concentrate about force. With the help of the force only, the body will change its position from one place to other force. What type of force will acting on your body to change its position? So those things we are going to learn under a branch is called dynamics. The next one is statics. What is mean by statics means to study the nature of body bodies when they are at rest. So this is about uh, statics to study the nature of bodies when they are rest. If they are in the rest, rest, how the body will gain energy to move from one place to other place and we need to learn about nature of bodies when they are at rest is a branch called as statics. So here in, a, in this concept uh, we learn about kinematics. What is kinematics? Kinematics is a branch of mechanics to study the motion of bodies but not concerning the cause of motion is called as kinematics. So, this is about our concept.